Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so pumped to share with you today's content because with the support of Siemens 7S, I was able to get my hands on the deep result. So we're gonna unbox the deep result today. Stick around and I will show you the results. Hey guys, for those who knew, my name is Bakun again. I'm an Amarai radiographer. So in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials, troubleshooting just like this one. So if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So what is Deep Resolve? Very short said, Deep Resolve is an IAM powered image reconstruction technology. So I will leave the link in the description down below for you to further understand what Deep Resolve is. I have some information for you. And when it comes to Deep Resolve and the XA31 software, which we were using for scanning the, the, the Deep Resolve, Deep Resolve was just released and it's now available. Since Deep Resolve is so new, how did we manage to pull this off? While we did remote scanning, I am here in Norway, we're using my MacBook and I have full access and direct connection to the Erlangen Training Center in Germany. So I had a full access of the scan. It was like almost like being there physically. So everything was working perfectly. There was no lagging, there was no bad connection, no nothing. Uh, I was using my MacBook and I could have full access of the scanner. So before we continue, I just want to mention that with Deep Resolve, you can use this in three ways. One is that you can gain SNR or you can use it to get sharper images, or you can get a combination of both of them. So enough talking, let's go and I'll show you some results. With the limit of time I had in front of me, I was just doing an angle scanning and test this out. This is all new to me as well. So in front of you here on the left side, you have, a, you can see the resolution right there. And the scan time was around three minutes and 51. And on the right side here, uh, same settings, same parameters, only add on the deep resolve and the same scan time, of course. But let's zoom in a little bit here because this is very interesting. You can see here on the left side, the image is not bad at all, but whenever you have a better image right next to it, you will, your eyes will automatically go for the better image, right? Because it seems a little bit sharper here. Also here, the contour, the, the small structures seems a little bit better with the same scan time. So this is one way you can use the deep resolve. And I will show some more results right here. All right, on my next test, I did something here to try to lower a little bit of the scan time. So on the left side, you see here, it's the one we sh I showed you earlier, without the deep resolve. And this one is the same parameters with the deep resolve. And the last one has a little bit lower resolution, as you can see there. The voxel sizes are a little bit bigger, but the scan time is lower, of course. So these two, three minutes and 51 versus two minutes and 39. And let's check the images. For me, it seems that this short scan time with deep resolve to optimize how the settings I was using here seems sharp, almost like this one in the middle where you have a higher resolution. So in here, you save around 31% of scan time, just this sequence with these settings. So I did test a T2 transversion as well. So the left one you see right here, it's uh, have a higher resolution and scan time takes around three minutes and 28. On the right side right here, the deep resolve is applied. It takes around one minute and 43. So we save around 50% of scan time by these settings. And uh, let's check these images. You see the small structures right here. It seems a little bit sharper, even though you have a low resolution when you save a lot of scan time. Let me show you another one right here. This is a T1. And these images are very zoomed in right now. On the left side here, it's not, deep resolve is not applied. And on the right side, the deep resolve is applied. So the scan time between these two is around 53% of safe scan time. So the last images I want to show is the four foot. This is a T1. You see here on the left side, it's no deep resolve. And the other one has a lower resolution and it's deep resolve applied. So the scan time here is 3 minutes and 30 around uh, versus uh, 2 minutes and 10. So we saved around 38% of scan time right here. The way I used deep resolve with this test was to see if I could save some scan time, but at the same time being able to have sharp, good images. Well, that's the end of my video, guys. I hope you find this video valuable and informative. So as you know, I only did deep resolve with 2D sequences. So for now, it's just available with TurboSpanaco 2D. So I hope in the near future it will be available with SMS and available with 3D sequences. This will be the ultimate. I know there's some work in progress there, so I'm really looking forward for the newer version of the Deep Resolve. If you want more of this kind of content in the future, please let me know in the comment section down below. 
So don't forget to push the like button if you like this video and hit the subscribe, hit on the notification bell so you get a ding ding whenever new things from me are coming up. So stay safe and I catch up with you in my next video. Thank you for watching till far end. Bye bye.